several people have asked me a little bit about the equipment that I use. And I use the Slinger Wingers. You can go to slingerwinger.com. And I used to use the Gunners Up, and I found these to be much lighter and really fast to set up. And I think they just work really well, and I think they're also quite a bit cheaper. Um, the, the setup and breakdown for these is literally like that. They're set up. On the Gunners Up, you have to then put the pins in to hold them in place. And you've always got the risk, which everybody does it. You smash your finger really bad when you forget to uh, um, when you forget to put that uh, pin in. And then you've got two settings in terms of the, uh, the how far it throws. And so to uh, to arm this, all you do, if you can see this, is you just pull that up. That locks that in place. And then that's it there is you're just hooking that on and then the electronics you can use the all the different electronics um, that you have i i like the dog tray ones and so you're connecting those here they feel really nice they don't throw crazy far but they've got some bands where if you want them to throw a lot further um, again you can do the settings pulling down further so it's tighter it'll throw it um, so it does a really nice job. They are super light and uh, there are two different sizes that they have. The bigger size of course throws it a little bit further. So to give you an idea, put a bird in here. Um, these bands I've had now for maybe a year and a half. So you can see they're a little bit worn out. So this is not gonna throw it quite as far. Um, one other thing, if you can see here, you have the ability to extend these a little bit further. That'll change your angle, how high it's going to throw it or how far. Um, and so I'll show you how far this will on the further throw. And you can throw bumpers out of this. You can throw ducks out of this. Um, I do both depending on what, what I'm doing. Of course, the bumpers, it throws a lot further. Um, ducks, pheasants, whatever you want. And then you also... I remember I'll show you on this one you can put a popper in you can see down here oops if you see down here there's a hole you can put this in so when this thing fires it'll pop it and set it off so I'll show you now that I dumped those all over I'll show you what that looks like sounds like from the from the electronic standpoint let's see give you the view here let me back it off here a little bit hopefully give you a better perspective I know you've probably seen me shoot these a million times the popper had the mimic of a gun shooting so it goes sorry that other one was blocking it it goes pretty good and it goes like a hand thrown bird a lot of times which is what I like again he's they have the ability to get stronger band this one throws it further but you can also get the stronger bands if you want one that throws it really far um, I, I find it's it's better to not throw it very far if it throws it so far it also throws it fast and when it throws it fast it's darn hard for the dog to see it in the air so I don't like something that throws it real real fast and because and if I do I put streamers on it or something like that but I think these work really well. I, I, I like them. So if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. If I have something I haven't talked about regarding them, happy to go into more detail and answer any questions that you have.